what up? Oh, shout. And then YouTube, Silver Joker here. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, last uh, week of the month. Uh, spot price at last check was 18.13. It's etching up. That's both good and bad news. And for all you silver stackers who stack on a regular basis, you know exactly what I mean by that. Um, so this is the end of the month pickup. Um, at the end of the month, you guys know who've been following me along on my budget and on my quest towards 300 ounces by the end of the year. You know that at the end of the month, my last week of the month, I try to get 10 ounces to try to round the month off at 25 ounces of uh, silver added to the stack. So I was able to do that. We'll get right to it. So these are my, my eight ounces of generic. I got four of the buffaloes, which I really like a lot, as you guys are aware. Very nice rounds these are. Um, you know, for generic rounds, I mean, these right here, you, you really, really could do a lot worse. Uh, these are some very nice, very nice rounds. If I can get my camera to focus here. There we go. So anyway, I got four of those. And then I got three of these Morgan-inspired Silver rounds here, very nice. These are starting to grow on me as well. I think they did a very good job. That meant the profit meant that did these very nice. So I got four of those, and I managed to grab another buffalo as part of that little um, four ounces. So there it is. So in all, I got uh, five of the. Um, Buffalo rounds and three of the Morgan inspired rounds. And for my premium, I got two of the uh, 2007 Silver Eagles, which uh, I think I'm starting to deplete his uh, stockpile of um, Silver Eagles in the box 2007s. Okay, and uh, not really part of the budget, although you know the money did come out of the budget. But not very really part of the budget. I got some more of the um, some more constitutional silver or junk silver, as some people like to refer to it as. So I get it for um, thirteen dollars face. So I was able to increase a little bit of junk, add a little more junk silver to the stack. You can never have too much constitutional silver. And these Morgans here, I bought five of these. Um, and some of these are in very good condition as far as Morgans go. I mean, they're probably, they're still coal, coal coins, but they're, they're in really good condition. Um, and what, um, you know, they're just your, your basic bullion as far as I'm concerned. You know, no key dates in there, uh, nothing extraordinary about them. So anyway, um, but I will tell you this, uh, you, you'll be hard pressed to find a Morgan anywhere unless it's in very terrible condition for under 20 bucks and if you do come across some Morgans for under 20 bucks um, I suggest you snatch them up if you can I've seen them as low as 17 bucks but I mean they were in such bad condition um, but if you get them in this kind of condition which is not great uh, for under 20 bucks I'd say you get buy as many as your budget will allow so they do absolutely hold their value very well and these are very sought after Morgans are very sought after, so if you can come across as many of those as you can pick up, I suggest get as many as you can. Anyway, so that is the end of the month, or uh, yeah, end of the month, and so I ended up with uh, 28 ounces, and I'll try to get it all, bring it all out here for you to see. So that's um, these are these um, eagles here. And to get um, five of those. And 
we go. Five eagles. And I was able to pick up a little more premium. You guys know how I got picked up these. Um, and it's really hard to see. There you go. Uh, these uh, premium Perth Mint Funnel Whip Spider. Picked up three of those. Here. And this was uh, last week. So I'm going to use some more of those Morgans and that, um, another buffalo in there. And um, pull them all out of the bag. Lay them out here. So yeah, there we go. And then with the four last. Are these all uh, buffaloes? Boy, I love that sound. Oh, that's an awesome sound. And in the very first week, were these these rounds here? The um, camera focus. The lighting is so low. Well, trade rounds. So there you have it. So that uh, completes another another month. Um, still ahead because uh, you know silver has been very low. Silver um, spot price has been fairly low. So we're able to uh, put a little more in the stack. Uh, add a few more ounces of premium to the stack. I mean, I want my, all my overage. If I can buy a little more, I want my overage to be, um, you know, uh, premium. Uh, you know, this is my new uh, new stacking method. We'll see how that goes at the end of the year, and so we can stick to the budget all the way through. So far, so good. But that's really all I want to say. I don't want to make this video too long. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the encouragement, and I encourage all you. Uh, stackers out there who are who are stacking on the budget, and some of you said you were you're stacking on the budget, inspired by, in some small part, inspired by my videos. That is just so flattering, and um, you know I'm going to continue to keep up uh, my budget as best I can, and um, I'm going to share that with you, and I encourage you to do the same. Anyway, thank you for watching. Keep stacking. Peace.